Well, good morning, team. It's uh, Sunday morning here. Heading north, we're going to the uh, Sound of Thunder race meeting at uh, Christchurch at Ruapuna or Euromarquee Motor Sport Park, I think they call it now. Anyway, it's, uh, it's the New Zealand's uh, premier uh, race meeting for Bears bikes. That's British, European, American races and supporters, if you didn't know. Uh, can't remember how many years they've been going for now, but I competed in two, two years, I think about 89 or 90, 91, somewhere around there. Uh, and it would have been going for a while before that. I think it started in about 1984 which means you're looking at uh, 12, 40 years. 40 years of uh, officially bear racing, bears racing in New Zealand, so. Anyway, who's riding today? Just uh, me and uh, Shane. Shane on the MV Augusta Brutal, or Brutale if you like. And uh, you know, we're just going up to State Highway 72. A few more windies and a lot less vehicles. So anyway, talk to you when we get uh, closer to the racetrack. So we're just pulling up to uh, Rapuna now. Um, yeah, looking forward to uh, walking around the pits as well. Of course, one of the uh, Britons will be here. And there was some demo laps by, I think his name's Nick Jeffries, who was, uh, yeah, I think he rode at the Isle of Man about 30 years ago. So, yeah. Very excited, it's gonna be a good day, not too hot and no rain. Welcome to the Sound of Thunder 2024. So there's several places around the track that you can watch down the front straight where the main uh, stands are, but also right around the back and you get some good viewing from over there and that's where we went. Uh, all classes represented of course, non-Japanese everything, but you even had uh, Moto Euro class which was anything made in Europe, and of course uh, Milwaukee Iron, that was for uh, Harleys, Indians. Uh, victories and the like. Also, best of British class. Uh, of course, only British bikes in that one. And of course, the uh, Norton, the ES2, which is the current lap holder for its class around the Isle of Man. That was there. Um, and of course, actually, that was racing in uh, all the uh, British and classic classes, actually. Young uh, Tyler Lincoln. Uh, mainly riding that bike as well as I think he was another class riding a 748 uh, Ducati. Of course, during the lunch break, we got to watch the uh, Britain. I think it's number five Britain, one of the New Zealand-based uh, uh, V1000s, doing some demo laps with uh, Nick Jeffries on it, and uh, he, of course, he rode 
the Britain at the Isle of Man some years ago. Also a Moto 2 replica, which was insane, just insane to watch that thing. Just power driving and out of every corner and it was awesome to see. Oh, that's right. Thanks very much. Anyway, some great racing, some uh, really big uh, classes today, and um, some big fields. Uh, I think it's around 40 bikes to some of them, so a lot more bikes uh, riding, competing today than uh, back in the 80s when, or early 90s when I was riding. Classes were a lot smaller then, um, and so, yeah, fantastic day. Um, Bears is looking really great. I think 40th anniversary of Bears racing in New Zealand. British, European, American racers and supporters. All started here in Christchurch by the Corsair Motorcycle Club at the time. And looks like it's in uh, good shape for the future. Plenty of uh, awesome bikes and uh, some great riding. Really enjoyed the day. Well, that sound of thunder for another year. Just, uh, just gassing up and uh, had time to head home. Great day. It was a lot warmer than it was supposed to be, so got pretty hot actually. Some bloody good racing, and uh, big shout out to Kim. You know who you are for looking after us, getting us in. That's great. Right, just the two of us. <clears throat> it's going to be a pretty quick trip home, really. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one.